Today we're going to be talking about how to create a child support arrears spreadsheet. People can use to show, well, this is how much is actually owed to me. Now, if you look back at our previous uh, video that we did on how to calculate child support, we're going to be using those numbers within this spreadsheet as well. So, so the first step is actually you know, creating the title, child support arrears spreadsheet. For 2022 to 2023. And we start on the time from when you're going to be making that spreadsheet to until present. So when we talk about that, typically for a chambers or docket appearance, you can look back six months um, from when your application is to go for arrears. And so that might be where you're asking for. If you're looking for beyond that, uh, you can still put it in there, just knowing that that will have to go to a separate sort of legal entity, like a, a special chamber or trial. We start at say November 1, 2022. So that's the month that child support would be owed. We can then go through there and add that to present. Month for July. And the first step in looking at this then is, well, has been paid. how much child support is owed. So then we can kind of calculate that from a super formula. So when you look at the formula for 2022 and for 2023, do you calculate child support arrears? Um, mom might uh, say the kids are with dad and there's two kids. So again, looking back at the previous video that we did, you can see that we have to look at the line 150 income for most people. And then using that line 150 income, we then put that into the federal child support guideline formula. Um, and that will give us how much child support is owed per month. So for 2022, for mom, if she made $45,000 per year, for 2022, and expects about the same for 2023, dad made 55,000 in 2022, and expects to make about the same, you know, say slightly more for 2023. We can then go calculate what those amounts would be in child support. So, so if FS, the federal child support guidelines that are owing, again, with two kids residing with dad, would be based off of mom's income. So in looking at child support arrears, the, what would court would want to be, what is the best available financial information? So, if you have your 2022 tax return and notice assessment, that's useful. Uh, current last three pay stubs, and those can always be annualized to determine what an income would be for that year. There's also different information that we can use. So assuming that mom's income was 45,000, that works out to $653 for child support. And so $653. And again, as we said, assuming that that number doesn't increase for 2023, that's how much they would be paid per month for two children living in Alberta. So then what we do is we just put this here under the category, so how much was owed. And because that amount isn't changing for the year, we can essentially just drag that down and have that amount be for the full time period. And we can use a sum function at the bottom. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna total all of the amounts and what this also allows us to do too is if there was a variance in between the two years, we don't have to go back and change that. We can just sum it up to the respective amount. So again, November, and December would have a different amount. And then uh, January through to July would have uh, the current amount that we're getting. So again, the so same mom, again, as people separated, they paid $500 per month when they separated. And then again, another $500 in, in December. And then they decided to drop that to $400 because that's what they felt that they should pay. And that's something that happens much more common than we think. And as a result, you know, people are saying they're going, to, that's why they go to court. So again, we can use a sum function and calculate the total amounts there. 
to see how much was paid. And so then the total amount owed is simply just the difference between those. And so in this particular example, the total amount owed is $2,077. And so in creating this type of spreadsheet, what you're trying to do is provide a clear idea to the court or your partner if you're doing negotiations to say, this is where the numbers come from. This is how I calculated it. These are the, um, so that the idea is hopefully that this enables you to not have to take that next step. It's saying this is how much is now owed. So you've calculated this. You can then again do something like, okay, so in addition to the amount, which would be 653 per month, we're going to break this down and show well, what happens if it was um, paid over 12 months. Because sometimes again, what happens with arrears is that you're not able to pay that off all at one time, right? Especially again, as people separate and they have additional costs associated with that separation, like finding new accommodations, buying new uh, items for children, buying stuff for themselves. Uh, and so what they can do, for example, is, you know, when you have that arrears amount, is you can simply divide it over a period of time. And over that period of time, what can happen is, um, so instead of that amount of 2,777, we divide it by 12, that gives us a, an amount of $173. So we can add that to your regular amount, so 653. And then for the next year, they pay $826.08. And that way, again, it spreads it out over a period of time and is a little bit more palatable to pay. Uh, and that's an option, again, that the courts will consider, again, in order so that people are able to pay for things like rent and food and clothing and, and their basic necessities, as well as covering uh, the amounts that they have to pay for their children. Thanks for tuning into our channel for Woodbine Legal Services. Uh, take out our, check out our video for how to calculate ongoing child support by clicking on the link here. For this and other future videos, please check out our social media pages below, uh, as well as when we look at, uh, if, you've, if you find you know, our content interesting, please leave a comment. And if there's anything that you would like future videos on or future information on, feel free to leave a comment on that as well.